Dare Super Best uh, Hurricane Florence Distractors. Yes, I've been seeing a lot of that lately. Stay safe, everybody. Yeah. Um, on Friday, September 14th, Xenoblade Chronicles 2's DLC, Toma the Golden Country, released... I was excited for this DLC despite ultimately being disappointed by the base game. Mm-hmm. Loved part one and loved X, but two's change in tone, slow story, character designs, and gameplay mechanics. Overall lack of polish upon release greatly disappointed me, but I've still come to appreciate the game for what it is and what it does well. Mm-hmm. The DLC story, however, blew me away with how it took it, almost every issue I had with the base game and fixed it, removed it, replaced it with much better alternatives. So the shitty gacha system is gone, the battle system isn't as repetitive as slow. Really? Main cast is made up of new characters with good designs, and the characters with the best designs from the base game. Uh, the tone is more how I like it, and the game is infinitely more polished. Has there ever been a DLC for yeah, a game you played and ended up liking more than the base I, game? Because there's a great piece of DLC for a fix that's a lot of the problems that you have. I did not personally play it, but everyone that I knew who played Minerva's Den from yeah, Bioshock, I was just Bioshock that. said that that was so much better than the base game. There's a lot. Yeah, I never played it either, but that's yeah, that comes to mind. I've heard that multiple uh, times. I, didn't Infinite have similar things with the... Um, Return to Rapture stuff and everything as well. I never, I don't remember what people said about it. Uh, it was pretty mixed. Uh, it's both Bioshock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's that. That, that game, uh, let me think. Jetstream Sam was fun, but it wasn't better than the original game. No. Um, um, I've heard from people that are like, I like Red Dead Redemption, but I can't do it. Zombie Nightmare was nice. There's so one. much, and they're like, the Zombie Nightmare thing is, is perfect. Like, I'd rather <sighs> just play that. I've got the reverse, in which the pre-LC was better than the main game. Well, Dead Rising Dead 2. Rising. Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising K0, 100%. Dead Rising 2. Uh, there was also... Um, Dead Rising K0 was way better than Dead Rising. Like, it's nuts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Easy. Free. Uh, Scholar of the First Sin adds Maria, but also adds the... Orphan of Costs. Yeah, it's, it's kind of... I don't think... The, um, hold on. Freedom Was Freedom Cry uh, for AC3? No, it's yeah. Black, 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 Black Flag. Black Flag. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Like, Liam, other people have also said, like, that was great. That was a great piece But it was for a good game already. A lot of the Assassin's Creed's at least have one or two good DLC things that, you know... I'm trying to think. It's a pretty rare phenomenon, but it totally happens. Where they fix everything afterwards. And, and, and like, this is very specific because we can't include things like a, a new revision of a game or an expansion of a game like Civ that just adds on. Add stuff, yeah. No, we're talking about, like, a, a separate self-contained, self-contained thing. Self-contained campaign. Um, Blood Dragon? Blood Dragon is really good. Good one. Solid. I don't know if it counts. I really don't know if it counts. Because it's so fucking crazy No, no, not Blood Dragon. I'm just thinking, it's like, I don't know if Dark Arisen for Dragon's Dogma counts, because the area that they add in Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen is of a completely different structure from the entire rest of the game. But it's added into the game. Yeah, it is added into the game, but I'm like... Mm. Because it, it it is essentially Dragon's Dogma does Dark Souls... Well, if we and it if, is a whole extra game of that type. If we count Souls games, right, where you go into a teleporter and then end up in the DLC world, then oh, well, Artorius is better than most of Dark Souls One. Yep, and yep, um, a fucking uh, what was it? The the first Dark Souls Two DLC is better than I, uh, uh, Ivory King. No, no, not Ivory King. Um, the the King Underground with the pyramid, the ziggurat. Oh shit! That is better than almost the entirety of Dark Souls Two. Um, wait, isn't that isn't that what's her name? Um, the girl that she calls in uh, an ad. Uh, the uh, like 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 the oh the queen the queen that yeah yeah a queen that of ash fu- yeah no mm. yeah uh, well whatever that boss fight sucks but the dragon boss fight afterwards is amazing and yeah because that, that, that boss fight is not great. I'm talking about the zone in particular. I do remember. Because Dark Sunken... Souls 2 zones were its biggest problem. Um, sunken Crown? Sunken, sunken, sunken Crown. Sunken that's crown. it. Um, What's the one with Alon? Alon? That's uh, that's the, the Ash uh, Ember one. Whatever. The second one? Yeah. Ash that the has Alon and it has Fume uh, Knight. And that is absolutely... Those are the best. The bo- fucking best. Those are the best bosses. Yes. But the zone is awful. Do you remember uh, how bad I do. it was? I remember the run. I remember the run. I do. I do. Uh, Old Iron King. Yeah, man. Um, Ring City's really good. I don't know if it's better than Dark Souls 3, but it's really fantastic. 
I've not beaten it. So. This is a, this is an interesting phenomenon. This is S- send us yeah. more of these. Yeah, I like this a lot because like, we know we I, know it happens, and I know there's stuff that's that I we're forgetting. Definitely know there's like campaigns that were like much better. Like perhaps you know one of the Arkham games had like these really concise smaller campaigns that I think like did some improvements. <laughs> is there a wrath epilogue? <laughs> yeah, if you count getting your ending, I guess. Or, or or Pop Zero. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Pop Zero's no, no, one no, no. wasn't that great. What was Mass Effect Three Citadel? It was DLC. That was um, I didn't play it, but I have friends who did, and it is basically the best thing that Mass Effect ever did. Uh, it is the it is it is a DLC that is supposed to be the absolute absolute last thing you ever do before you beat the game. Okay. Because it is. You guys going, okay, well, we might all die. Let's have a big party with every character that has ever existed in this story. Okay. And it is, and you go on little fucking goofy hijinks college adventures uh-uh. with every single fucking member of the cast. And it's a total non-canon. It, but... No, it's canon. Oh. This party happened. Okay. Um, I think Blasto's there. The fucking uh, Hanar movie star. And all like it's goofy as shit, and it is like it is all. Are, the th- are people that are dead there? No, that's what if I'm they trying died, to they're not. Okay, okay. But it is all the goofy, yeah, let's hang out moments that right, permeated that right, whole series. Right. Okay, okay, that's fun. Um, someone said there's only one problem with Citadel, and it's a big problem in all of Mass Effect Three. As you're having that party, one million people died on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, Mass Effect 3 has this massive Jesus structural Christ. problem in which they tell you one million er- people on Earth are dying every day that you are doing anything. So when you're doing a side quest for some guy's shop, you're like one million dead or humans. Or taking care of fish. Wow. Okay. So, like, that whole game suffers from that real bad. Um... Someone just said uh, uh, Batgirl's campaign is yeah. better than all of uh, Arkham Knight. Okay, well yeah, that's I've easy. That. That's real easy. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I mean, if you're talking uh, if you're talking FOD expansions, probably Old World Blues is that, better than anything. That one million people problem is a is a thing that I'm sure there's got to be a trope name for. Yeah, I was really recently reading about. Something else, like another movie. The world's gonna end in ten minutes. Well, not just that, but, but I gotta take care of my plants. The other, the other version of this, it was a movie that, that, that basically it was like um, horrible amounts of of catastrophe and casualties in the final battle occur, um, but the heroes defeat the villain and then kind of hug and have a laughing credits fake yeah. to credits as everyone laughs happily and it's like 40 percent of earth's population is dead and it's like how could you possibly have these emotions <laughs> like these emotions fit the end of your emotional journey they do not fit the, the reality of the reality of the situation or and you're standing on one million dead babies the, like a, a, <laughs> the, the most ridiculous uh, uh uh break of immersion that's called the man of steel Sure, sure. I, I, and there's got to be an, an, a repeating name for that, but that's a fucking oh, bad Lois, one. Oh, Lois, let's make out over 1,000 9 ah, And whatever you do, don't ah, turn up the sound ah, mix so you can hear everyone screaming while we kiss. Last Jedi had that. I'm oh, it's super did. Last, Last Jedi absolutely had Last that. Last Jedi had that. It had a wild. Really, really bad version of that. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Like, did you? <laughs> oh. All right. Um, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good question. I like that a lot. 